Hi everybody, Alex the Plow here from Expert Forex and in this video we're going to be looking at the first secret of grid trading. Now being the first one it is the most important one and it's all about currency selection. Now if you're not familiar with grid trading I suggest that you have a look at this video, a grid trading explained and it it will give you a grasp of how grid trading works and here's a further video that will help you now at expert forex we've got a number of robots and below are the robots that use grid trading principles so it doesn't only apply to the grid trend multiplier but a whole lot of our eas and i'll go through them the grid trend multiplier is the main grid trading ea but it also applies to the profit retriever the wave liberator the rsi liberator the expert forex hedge the Lucky Trader, which is uh, f uh, has a free 30-day trial, and the Bell Trader that will soon be released. So why is this so important? Firstly, the grid trading system is predominantly a sideways market. So it, it likes trading currencies that move in a sideways fashion. It doesn't like trading currencies that have extremely strong trends. So the first secret is finding sideway currencies that will have a minim minimal impact if there are huge trends. So how do we find those currencies? And the first step really is to use the ATR, which is the average true range of a currency. In other words, it looks at how many pips the currency moves in a particular period and what I'm going to suggest is that we use the daily so that we keep it consistent with all the other currencies so you would look at the daily ATR and we're going to be looking at that later on then the next one is to look at standard deviation channels because they also give a vibration rate of the currency the the difference is this vibration rate is not necessarily horizontal but can also be non-horizontal and you'll see examples of that and then we have a trend analyzer that actually looks at the trends created by each currency and it looks at the buy trends the sell trends but it most importantly the biggest trend that gets generated by a particular currency now that gives you a good idea of again the volatility and the trendiness of a currency and the last tip about currency selection is to avoid crosses that have the USD or the yen involved in the cross because those are the two currencies that can cause tremendous trends. So on your screen you can see the currency selector EA that we have that looks at, at currency trend, trendiness, uh, spread factors, weekly volatility, swap fees, margin requirements and then spread volatility in other words how much the spread jumps during the day but the main area that we want to look at are, is the daily ATR and there we have the daily ATR and it has been sorted from small to large so I like looking at the extremes so we look at the euro pound it only vibrates or travels on average 34 pips a day Whereas the pound yen travels almost 200 pips a day. So you can see that the pound yen is more likely to trend and to make huge movements when trading a technique like the grid trend multiplier. So your first choice is to go for these low end ATR trading currencies uh, such as the CAD franc, the euro pound, the New Zealand franc, the Aussie franc, the Aussie New Zealand all don't have the uh, USD and the yen just by some chance and the Aussie franc and there's the first one is the US franc so we'd stop there most probably and only look at those top four over there just looking at the other side of things you can see the pound yen the euro yen the yen itself the euro new zealand that's one of the ones that doesn't have a usd or yen but it it is very volatile and the franc yen and then the pound new zealand so you can see the pound in new zealand uh, pound and 
uh, and Euro New Zealand are very cause a lot of volatility. So you would stay away from those currencies. Very important that you start your grid trading using sideways currencies. Now you can also look at the weekly ATR and the monthly ATR, but as you can see, those are quite consistent. They still point out the same currencies as being the most volatile. Okay, so this tool, the currency selector, is, is used quite a lot by traders to determine these factors. Okay, so let's move on to the standard deviation channel. Now, the standard deviation channel is a channel. So when you go to MetaTrader, you go insert channels and then you'll find standard deviation channels. And then you just drag it for the period you want it to to go and in this case what we've done is we've covered a year on the daily chart of the euro pound and what it then does it does non-horizontal channels showing you the volatility of the currency round and average so that yellow line over there is the average for the currency over that period and you can see how the the price oscillated around that particular average over the period. Now the important thing here is to measure those deviation areas to see the size. So the, the deviation area is 90 pips. I've measured that in, in pips and down there. And you can see the price action played in three channels that were 270 pips. So the in a whole year, the euro pound had only moved in a non-horizontal channel of only 270 pips. So that is, again, our prime currency for grid trading. If we then apply this to the pound yen, we see a slightly different picture. This one trended upwards um, over that same year period, but the deviation channels were 700 pips 700 that's huge it shows the volatility of that particular currency and you can see the price ranged over four of those deviation levels uh, there's the middle and you can see how it went up and down up and down over the average and in in the last few weeks it's actually gone quite crazy gone almost to the outer end the, of the blue channel and uh, to the outer end of the other blue channel so we say that the pound yen has moved 2800 pips now compare that with the 270 pips of the euro yen you can see that the trends that this currency generate are huge and you better stay away from them if you're trading the grid trend multiplier or the grid method and then the last one we're going to look at is the trend annual analyzer what that does it uses the a zigzag indicator to identify trend sizes and then it will sort the currencies out by trend size and so it's a completely different technique to the uh, average true range technique and here we have it the euro pound again is the most sideways currency and then the pound yen is the most volatile currency so let's have a look at that so the average buy trend is 27 pips the average sell trend is 25 pips and then on on average it's tw they, 26 pips but the biggest trend that it, that it had was 44 pips now let's have a look at the pound yen so we have almost 200 pips as the uh, uh, average buy uh, 260 pips for the average sell and then the biggest trend that it had was 690. Again, you want to stay away from those kind of currencies. They are very volatile. And although they are tradable on a grid basis, your open trades will last a very long time because you've got to wait for a trend of, uh, let's say, 250 pips for the grid trading system. Whereas the euro pound, you're only using most probably uh, grid sizes of about 20 pips much more much safer and you know that the trends aren't going to be big because that's what you want you just want to trade the 
the oscillations in the market. Now, this is a free tool. You'll see a link to this particular tool in the description of the video, as well as in the first commentary of the video. And then, as I've mentioned before, stay away from the yen and the US dollar. Those ones can, can create incredible trends. So that's it. As simple as that. Use those tools, the trend analyzer, the standard deviation channels, and the ATR readings. And you can manually look those up. You can use the tools. There will be links to these tools in the description of the video as well as in the commentary of the video. So in the next video, we're going to be moving on to secret number two. There's, this is a series. There are about eight to ten secrets that we're going to be covering in quite a lot of detail. So watch out for this series. Uh, it will be in one big playlist in YouTube as a course for trading the grid system. Again, a reminder to uh, please view the description of the video there's besides the details that I've mentioned there are some other details about grid trading principles that you might find interesting thank you very much for watching I hope you've learned a little bit about currency selection these principles apply not only to grid trading they apply to all trading because they are great guides to where you should be putting your stops and targets so for volatile currencies you use huge targets and huge stops for for sideways currencies you'd use small stops and small targets so from me alex deploy cheerio